So this is basically Pokemon Go, but without the battling, right? It's not? Oh, alright then. So Pikmin Bloom is out, and it feels like it sort of came out of nowhere. Just what is it, and is it any good? Here are my first thoughts on Pikmin Bloom, after playing for about a week. Oh, and if you enjoy this, then a sub would be Bloomin. Okay, let's move on. Whew, this sure is a little bare bones right now. Not to say it's bad, it's different. Let me put this straight. Pikmin Bloom is not just Pokemon Go all over again. Sure, it's a GPS-driven game, but the goal and mechanics work differently. It almost resembles a normal mobile game, for better or worse. You control your own Mii character wearing this tiny backpack. The goal seems to be to grow as many flowers around the world as possible. And to do that, you need to gather petals from your Pikmin. Which in turn means you need to gather more Pikmin, so that creates the basic game cycle. Gather Pikmin by going on expeditions to get Pikmin seedlings. Keep in mind that the expeditions happen in real time, meaning you can sometimes wait up to a day for one item to be brought back. To make a Pikmin seedling grow, you need to walk with them planted in a pot, and then finally pluck them. But wait, there's a little more. As you know, Pikmin go through three stages of life. Leaf, bud, and then finally flower. To get a Pikmin to grow in bloom, you need to use nectar, which you collect by going on expeditions for fruit. This is how you get nectar of different colors. Use a nectar of the color of your choice to grow petals of that color. Depending on the color you choose, in walk mode, you grow different flowers. Yeah, that's the gameplay for now. Oh, but there are these Pokestop-like Mega Flowers. Though I haven't figured out what to do with them while they're still in their leaf form. And I'm also not sure what to do with them while they're in their flower state, to be honest. Oh well, but that's Pikmin Bloom as of right now. So the question is, is it any fun? My answer is, yes. It's actually a lot of fun while being so simple. For starters, it's simple to understand and the cutesy look and feel of the game at least makes me smile every time I boot it up. I also like how the core Pikmin mechanics of exploring areas and finding items to bring back was brought over. It doesn't feel out of place, I mean. The thing about collecting nectar sort of gives me Hey Pikmin vibes. Though it might just be because the nectar in Bloom is like a collectible instead of just something to find in grass like the main games. There is no battling like in Pokemon Go, which is super nice for someone like me since I dislike the Go battle so much. Reason being, they are broken. I mean, they are unbalanced as heck and just plain bad in my eyes. But what I think of Pokemon Go is a story for another time. The one battle similar thing is a challenge against these mushrooms. I suppose you could think of them as a raid battles, but I don't know since I haven't seen a single one of them in my time of playing. Big oof, I know. Wouldn't it be cool with a little minigame instead where you had to throw Pikmin at Bulborps around you like Pokemon Dream Raider, if you remember? But instead of having to turn around like a full 360 degrees in public like a crazy person, why not just keep it at 180 instead? What is like Go, however, is the fact that you can use real money to get a few in-game perks. It's mainly just expansions to your Pikmin storage, nectar storage or special items. Nothing game-breaking for now, so that's nice if anything. Then the walk mode. It's amazingly neat. Heh. <laughs> nah, but it's cozy. For some reason the me decides to jump like a madman while walking and then flowers are planted literally out of the ass. Wow. And then there's this dumb but fun song that starts playing as you walk. So then you just kind of walk. I mean, it's not that thrilling, but it's not supposed to be this big action game, so it's fine. Apparently, you're supposed to be able to walk with other people and plant flowers together, but I haven't found anyone that wants to play with me, so I can't test that. Sorry, bro. But hey, if you want to add me and play, then here's my QR code. I'm not sure if there's a friend limit, but hey, here it is anyway. For now, the game is cozy and shows promise. I hope whatever updates comes in the coming months or even years will make things a little more exciting. Let's hope the game can stay a supporter for a long while and also breathe new life into the Pikmin franchise. Question of the day, how hype are you for the eventual Pikmin 4? So what do you think? Have you played Bloom yet? Is it boring or fun to you? Let me know, and have a good one!